this dude and yet another ranger more easily yeah aiming turn hey 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 what's up what's up what's up what's up what's up everybody welcome back to world of janks anyone knows that meme remembers that bitconnect meme <laughs> anyway Welcome back to the update 1.0.2's test server, because there is one more thing I wanted to test out over here with one of the vehicles. Object 268 version 4, changes to the vehicle technical characteristics. It was one of the most anticipated things in this update, a lot of you guys wanted to see 268 version 4 being nerfed to the ground. So let's take a look what Wargaming did to this vehicle in this first version of update 1.0.2's test server. Keep in mind everything is subject to chains. Yes. So, they increased dispersion during movement by 33%, so it is not as accurate while you are moving, it is 33% less accurate while you are moving. Same goes to the Hull Traverse, increased dispersion on Hull Traverse by 33%, and they also lowered the Traverse speed from 23 degrees per second to 22 degrees per second. And uh, finally, they increased dispersion on gun traverse by 20%. So if you move the gun itself, you are not as accurate anymore. So these are all the accuracy nerf. You are not as accurate while you are turning your hull, while you are moving and while you are turning your gun anymore. Now, moving on. Aiming time was nerfed a lot. From 2 seconds to 2.5 seconds. Now, for any other vehicle besides version 4, this would be super devastating aiming time nerf. But for version 4, as I have said before, it doesn't matter that much. Of course, balancing out the moving accuracy, uh, hull traverse accuracy and aiming time and all that, it helps to bring this vehicle down a bit, uh, so it is not super awesome in, in every single aspect. Uh, but if this vehicle is played correctly in the playstyle that they built it for, which is face action, you have to be in the face of the action, you have to face all your enemies, you have to do this, like all the time, ram this, by the way, I'm hitting my, my fist. This is not tapping, by the way. So you have to be in the face of action, you have to be super close range anyway. So for the overall playstyle, it doesn't matter too much, because if you are sniping with version 4, you are playing this tank wrong, in my opinion. About aiming time from 2 seconds to 2.5 seconds. Uh, gun traverse speed was also nerfed from 30 degrees to 28 degrees per second. Next up, let's talk about one of the most important changes, which is the decreased armor of the hull. In the article, sadly, they didn't say they didn't say anything else. They do not have any pictures over here. They did release one picture, I believe it was in the forum post, uh, where they said what they are going to do with it. But in my opinion, it is not valid anymore. Because on that picture, yes, they lowered the Commander Hatch armor from 252 to 232 on both sides. And uh, they said that the lower lower plate uh, from 236 to 201. But if I go to the tanks.gg and if I look at the 3D armor profile, yes, we can see that Commander Hatch was nerfed. As you can see, 231 now, but previously it was... Um, Okay, I have to refresh it. Previously it was 250, so it was nerfed, yes. So this is correct over here, but lower plate under angle like this, let's take a look, um, uh, 240 millimeters, and in the current public test, uh, let's refresh it, what was it under angle like this, maybe, still 240. So it seems like they didn't go through with the lower plate nerf. But I have to say, now that it has quite reliably penetrable commander hatch, uh, I have been taking them out quite efficiently with uh, many many different vehicles. Uh, commander hatch is quite easily penetrable for tier 10 uh, vehicles at least. But lower plate, um, you, you still need it to be under the correct angle for you, especially in tier 8 vehicles. But commander hatch for tier 8, uh, for a lot of tier 8, is still impenetrable without any premium rounds. So adapt to it and simply flank version 4, because it is so easy to do. Yeah. 
Moving on, changes to the mobility. Top speed nerfed from 55 to 50, reverse speed nerfed from 22 to 18, and engine power from 1500 horsepower engine to 1350. That means power to weight ratio is a bit lower as well, and HP, aka durability, from 2.1k to 2000 HP. So this is how new version of version 4 is going to look like. Uh, by the way, power to wave ratio was nerfed from 20 to 18 horsepower per ton, which is still really, really awesome. Uh, yep, I think nothing more to say other than let's jump right into the battle and let's play a couple live battles together. And off we go, welcome to the Glacier, as always full tier 10 matchmaking on the good old test server, and I am the only version 4 in this battle. As I always like to say, there is at least two FE405s in every single battle. Badger 25T, are they trying to get up the hill as well? I don't, I don't think so anymore. Nice, nice, nice. Enemy T100, okay, they are still trying to go up the hill. Enemy T100 LT went down. One of those bad jets should go down as well. Oh shit. Oh, beautiful. This guy is so freaking fast. He was already in the position. That two bloody 7-7 seven, seven is just ridiculously fast. But my first shot was also amazing. I, I literally wasn't expecting anyone to be over there already. Ah, that was glide shot. Bounced that one. Alright. Well, I guess I might be getting run down over here. Goodbye, Badget. Nice. Second engine fire. So seems like uh, putting those two 77s on fire is quite easy. Quite an easy thing to do. Let's try that again. Like that angle? Yeah, it, this should have been the place where I can put him on fire. Luckily my team arrived just in time. Now this guy has heat with crazy pen. I really do not want to F around with that. Beautiful. That went into the into the middle part, into the middle hull and track part. So it is penetrable there. Wow, that shot was lucky. I literally collected it as hard as possible. But this tank face in face-to-face -face action is still freaking, freaking tank. Freaking god-like tank. Just... I don't know what to say. 5.1k damage done out from nowhere. Literally out from nowhere. I received... Did I receive any regular shots as well? I don't know. Anyway, 2.8k damage bounced as well at the same time. And I actually didn't pay attention how many regular shells I received. All I can see are APCR rounds. So... <laughs> version 4. Uh, still, uh, still worth grinding, I would say. According to this battle, at least. Uh, but maybe people uh, do not know that its commander hatch was also nerfed. Maybe they do not know it. So this this can be a thing. But uh, mobility, yes, it was nerfed. Uh, now it is not faster than uh, some tier 10 uh, medium tanks. But it is still up tier. It can still keep up with them. Oh yes, please. On the move. On the move, hit. No, I might be able to run it. Well, thank you for tracking me. Thank you for nothing. Yeah. 
No, 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 why are you going out? And what we learned from this battle is that Object 277 is actually quite easy to set on fire. <laughs> yeah, uh, Arsonist Ribbon, first class, what do you know? High caliber in full tier 10 matchmaking is always nice. Uh, top experience, close to 6k damage done, 2 kills, over 6k combined, and uh, 3160 damage blocked by armor. And I made credits. I actually made 19k credits even without a premium account. I would say let's give people one more week to test it out because I think they do not know that Commander Hatch was nerfed uh, because when I encountered version 4 in my 277 I was able to take it out quite efficiently uh, penetrating this Commander Hatch up here. Uh, but maybe they simply do not know that it was nerfed because in the official, um, in the official patch notes they simply say decrease armor of the hull. So so the, yes, they decreased armor of the hull a bit, but Commander Hatch is not mentioned. Uh, uh, Commander Hatch with uh, some screenshots was mentioned in one of the other articles or maybe simply in the forum post. So this uh, patch note, I would say, needs some improvements uh, simply to show what exactly they did to it. But uh, this battle was perfect battle to show off what I said before. You can nerf the aiming time as much as you want. You can nerf the accuracy actually as well as much as you want. If object 268 version 4, if you play it as it is supposed to be played, like in face of the enemy vehicles, then all those aiming stats and accuracy stats do not matter. You are able to do super good anyway. Uh, but uh, let's jump into one more battle. Look at my horse, my horse is amazing! What do you think about my camo, by the way, guys? It looks beautiful, doesn't it? So, 50 top speed, quite easily achievable, as we were able to witness. A slightly downhill, but still no problems reaching that top speed with 18 horsepower per ton and power to weight ratio. And this camo kind of fits in. Okay, so I am alone over here at the moment. Seems like our T100 LT is not interested doing any kind of scouting. They simply want to snipe. So I have to do the scouting, but luckily this tank can do all kind of scouting and even more. And I can track it and I can once again set 277 on fire. What the hell is this vehicle, ma uh, vehicle made of? Just hit next to the frontal tracks or frontal wheels and this vehicle burns. What the hell? I'm actually a bit scared. That seems like I'm not too scared if I'm pushing in like that. Now I would like to catch that artillery in that corner. Let's see if I'm able to do that. Let's see if I am able to catch that artillery in the corner. No, I am not, but I am able to catch this dude. And yet another range of fire. Oh my god. Unreal. Literally unreal. How many fires in one episode? This guy's ammo rack was destroyed. This is why he didn't fire back at me. And T92 was trying to run away and he kinda succeeded doing that. Oh, FE405 aiming at me. Let's keep you spotted. What? Okay, that was just bullshit luck, dude. That was just bullshit luck. Beautiful. Is there we next victim? Take your time. Okay, took the shot. I should be able to bend it fairly easily. Yeah, aiming time. That was third fire. Okay, they nerfed the overall stats, but they added some kind of crazy fire ammunition to this vehicle. And bounced. That was third fire and fifth fire in total in today's episode, I, I think so at least. So he can penetrate my commander hatch. And this is exactly what he did, I think so. So let's make it count. I wanted to fully aim it in. 
because he was able to potentially one-shot me. APCR, APCR, HE. I might stay hidden, actually, behind this bush. Oh, I didn't, sorry. 6k damage done. And 15 to 3 victory. Okay. Well, I kind of countered their base with my first positioning, with my first aggressive positioning, but <laughs> I guess this, this answers to your question. You can still be aggressive as hell with uh, two six eight version 4. 6k damage done and like how much damage to my assistants, I didn't even see that. But of course, it is this vehicle is more easily penetrable now. Get another first class, high caliber and tank sniper, top damage, top X, same amount of credits profit. But uh, this was a new version of Object 268 version 4. I can say version 4.1 maybe. We'll see what else they are going to do to this vehicle. As I have said many many times already, hitting that commander hatch, I have been taking them out quite reliably. But of course, sniping at uh, this vehicle is still not the most efficient thing to do because uh, all you have to hit is that commander hatch. Uh, so, to kill it easily, you have to be in close range fight with a better TPM tank. But 2.9k is quite good TPM. And if it uses that uh, incendiary, I think is the fire ammunition. If it is using that ammunition, then, uh, well, you are done anyway. <laughs> uh, today's episode was crazy fire wise. Oh, yes, guys, today's episode was lit. Lit AF. Lit. I cannot say those ugly words, guys, in my episodes, otherwise they get demonetized, as two of my episodes about sensitive topics did. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, let me know what you think about version 4 now, and i get you next time with something else. Stay awesome, take care, and bye!